Now I've included some really, really great links to some videos that explain parallel and perpendicular lines in a much more exciting way than I'm doing. So check those out, they're really, really great links. But just for a quick refresher, again, you will have looked at this last year, but it's good to keep it all ticking over. So parallel lines are lines in the same plane that never intersect. So they are always the same distance apart. I always like to think of the fact that they'll never meet. They're going in the same direction, but they could go on forever and they'll never meet. Perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a right angle. So we know what a right angle looks like. We did that last year in year three. And we know that a right angle, we can always pop that little square in and label it with 90 degrees and it's perfectly straight. And we have our lovely right angle. That is a perpendicular line where those lines meet. I wanted to show you some real life examples of parallel and perpendicular lines. So as you can see at the top here, we've got an example of parallel lines on some train tracks. They are the same distance apart and they're not meeting. Then underneath, I've got some examples of perpendicular lines. You can see the purple lines there are the perpendicular lines. So we've got um, a right angle using a little ruler. We've got a clock when it says three o'clock. And of course, we've got the corner of a board there as well. So that is all of the revision that we're going to be doing this week. We've looked at four main areas and hopefully it's all come flooding back to you from the learning that you did in year three. And hopefully this video has helped with your maths activities too. Good luck with them. See you soon.